And where is the potential fraud? Or the fraud, if you want me to be totally accurate. It's in the mail-in votes. Yeah. If you coincidentally occur in large part because of COVID, there are no coincidences. And where is the potential fraud? Or the fraud, if you want me to be totally accurate. It's in the mail-in votes. Yeah. If you don't think this was planned, go home. Plandemic. I know Mickey Willis did that. I helped him do it. If you if you don't think this was planned, enjoy losing your freedoms under the Kabbalah Harris administration. And she's not going to be running this country. There are going to be people running this country that are rich. They're globalist. Some don't even live here. A lot of them are involved with foreign countries. It's time to tell the truth and be truthful and face the truth. This country is under attack. This was nothing more than a revolution. They're trying to take away your rights. They're trying to take away your constitution. They're trying to take away ultimately your freedom. Don't let them do it. Donald Trump has fought for the people. That's why the people voted for him. I watched, I watched President Trump when he spoke that night. He had to be tired. I know he had been out in an almost uh, unbelievable stretch of campaign speeches two or three days in a row into the 2 a.m. Two hour. And he didn't seem like his, himself. And then he spoke yesterday, and, and you can see that he's troubled because he sees what's being done to the people. And you can say whatever you want to about President Trump, but I will tell you this. He ran for president because he wanted to help the people. And it's nice to see Ronna here and former Governor Purdue and Vernon Jones. I'd like to see Lindsey Graham and Nikki Haley. I'd like to see the Republicans stand up. I'd stand up for this president. I've watched him for four years, and he's been out there fighting for the people, yeah. and he's almost been always fighting by himself, yeah. fighting yeah. against the Democrats, fighting against the Republicans, right. fighting against China, fighting against Iran, yeah. fighting against Russia. It's time for us to fight for Donald Trump. Yeah. We want to find out if there's double voting. 1.6 million absentee ballots, a record. Was it double voting? we got to investigate it. People registering in Georgia to vote, then changing their registration to another state to vote. Was there double voting? We've got to investigate it. Yeah. Triple. Yeah. Triple. I mean, look at Detroit. There are rumors there that uh, they had a, a record turnout by people that are in excess of 100 years old. <laughs> they were double voting four years ago. Wow. I, don't mean to, I don't mean to judge the results of the investigation. But I know that there's got to be one. Yeah. Everybody would like to have woken up on November the 4th and found that we knew who our president would be. And nobody wants to have to sit through day after day and endure the chads. Thank gosh we don't have chads this time. Nobody wants to sit around day after day after day after an exhausting campaign to try to figure out who's going to be president, especially at a time when the presidency has never been more important in terms of world affairs. But let me tell you what we got to do. We got to wait. We've got to have patience. Because if we don't do this right and take the time to do it right, God help us if we get it wrong. So thank you for letting me be a part of this today. I, I thank the President of the United States for asking me to help him. I want you to all fight back. Fight back for America. Thank you.